Hi, I'm Al Tompkins. I'm senior faculty at the Pointer Institute and a friend of educators everywhere, I hope. I did a seminar for reporters, eight hours of teaching with some of the very best journalists across North America. While we were teaching that seminar, it occurred to me, I need to get this material in the hands of educators to use in their college classes. Real life examples from real journalists who will explain what they did and how they did it. We're going to take each one of these presentations and we've cut them into pieces so that you as a teacher are going to be able to teach in between the segments. Byron Pitts from ABC News Nightline will be teaching interviewing skills. Nancy Amons is one of the very best investigative reporters in America and she'll be teaching how to think like an investigative reporter even while you're working on a daily news deadline. Boyd Hooper will be talking about how to get really small in your thinking about writing and storytelling. Brendan Keefe is unique, however you define that word. He'll be talking about investigative technique, but also how to work alone. Chris Vanderveen from KUSA in Denver is one of the most important local reporters of our time. And the reason is because he is so well known for enterprise reporting, those minute details that he puts into stories and then develops characters to make those stories come alive. Any conversation about journalism right now has to include a really direct, forthright conversation about diversity and inclusion. And for that, we have Ramon Escobar. Anne Herbst will be with us. Anne is one of the emerging voices in photojournalism right now in television. Anne sometimes works alone, sometimes works with a reporter partner, and sometimes she and the reporter partner actually co-report stories together. No point or teaching would be complete without a discussion about ethics, and that's the session that I'm going to lead. I'm gonna give you three very specific examples. One of them has to do with disinformation that unfolded during the Black Lives Matter protests. Another example where protesters actually approached journalists and ask them not to identify the protesters. And the final one, a police officer is crying on camera and asking people to be kinder to police officers. My question was, is this real? The teacher's toolbox doesn't take the place of your teaching. It makes your teaching more effective. We give you usable utility tools that you'll be able to plug right in and then use your skill to teach around. I hope you'll join us.